Now, I'm gonna make this video here. I went to a food pantry today. It's one called, what is it called? Saginaw Love or Heart of Saginaw, whatever. And it's over on 14, right across from the mess. In between, what is it? Perkins and Anson. There was a mother there. And the guy that runs the place, I'm not going to mention his name. But uh, let me see. What am I going to call him? I'm going to call him. Ooh, what to call him? I'm going to call him uh, B. That's who I'll call him, B. So B is giving this lady stuff about her children. And what kind of mother he, that she thinks she is. And then they get into it. She knows things about him. He getting on her about her children. Because he did it in front of me. And that's what she was upset about. And so he wanted to ban her from being at the place of need. Where you're supposed to be able to go and get some food. Because they say they love the Lord. And that's what they're doing. But he wants to be a tyrant with it. He want to be a tyrant with it. And when people come over there, tell them all kind of crazy things like there is for the needy, not the greedy. Want to say stuff like that. Now, if you're hurting and you need food, and especially like if they got something there saying they want to give you solace, they want to pray for you and all of that. But you always coming out of your mouth talking crazy to everybody because you power hungry and then he gonna try to tell me he ain't getting money. It's a thing called faith based initiatives. And I think it's been around for a while, but I know during Trump when he was in, these churches got money to give out food. Now, I've heard from going through economics class. You know whose bet money is, is, is good? That's whose money you want to use. Not your money. Other people's money. And that's how the world works and people don't be understanding that a lot of the times. There's money for these people to give out food because you have to sign a log. And I've signed a log. I've signed a log with them. I've signed a log at other food pantries. Because the stuff say USDA government right on the box. What do you think that is? And I know you, if you're a 501c3, there's grant monies and stuff that you can get. But that's they're giving uh, money to uh, faith-based organizations to distribute food. We have a lot of food. Food was a few, but food. There's plenty of food for all. It's a shame. Because we should have universal income. And there's plenty of food. There's no need for this. There's no need for all this uh, gouging they're doing right now. Or anything like that. Just because they want to make more money. And it's greedy, power-hungry people. And they're producing a lot of food. They're producing so much food here. It's, it's excess food. It's always been excess food. You know, so... She over there trying to get her food box and gather her kids. And he talking crazy to her. And so I see that he was doing this lady wrong. And I stepped in and I said something. And you know that man demeaned that, that lady in front of everybody that was out there waiting in the line to get the food box in front of her children? I feel sorry for you, children. Poor children, those poor babies. I got by else like, oh, they're cursing and they're, oh, those poor babies have to listen to that. And he's gonna say, well, one of the things he said was, um, well, y'all just doing this because nobody, y'all ain't, ain't nobody gonna like, stand up to y'all. I thought, I thought you was a Christian and you was like, giving out food to people. People gonna come in there with all kinds of problems. I think if you're, and you know this, if you're dealing with people, you need to go and, and, and take your some classes on uh, 
sociology and psychology. Because that's not how you deal with people. He was calling us, but we got to stand up. I got the guts basically to stand up to y'all ladies. And I'm like, us ladies, who, who are you talking about? I was like, who, who are you talking about? The people coming over there because they don't have money for food to get a food box. And you trying to tell them what to do with their autonomy. Like when I was getting on him, he was trying to tell me, well, oh, you're talking loud and all that. I was like, don't gaslight me. Then he like, oh, oh what's gaslighting? What's that? What's that? I say, go, go look it up. But I did tell him. Like when people start talking crazy, you, I'm upset. I have a right to be mad. Because I see that he was being unjust to this lady. He was demeaning and well over a food box because he had the power to give her a box of food to her. And so that's how he wanted to act over that silly food box. He asked another guy in the line, he said, well, what would you do if this wasn't here? He gonna say, well, I don't know. I, I don't know if I understand what he was saying, but he was making it sound like he, he couldn't make it if he wasn't getting that food box. I said, that's what we gonna let poverty pimps and different people that's trying to uh, divide us and work against us. You gonna be quiet like you a uh, slave in a slave house over a food box while he sat there and attacked two black females. Everybody else standing in line wanting that food box that bad that they can't say nothing. No the man talking crazy to people and they can't say nothing. We that hungry up here? Because there's too many of us that can um, come together and um, make something. Make some gardens and do all that to combat these food prices and buy an animal together. Co-op, do some co-op type of things and work together. Get that knowledge so we can work together. Because these people are making money. It gives them something to do. I don't know if they want to run for office or what they want to do. But they had that to put on their uh, resume. And it is a good work. It's a beautiful work to help your fellow man be able to eat some food. People do it every day, but you ain't got to do it like that. Telling somebody they should take better care of their kids and that women should shut up, basically. And she can't string some sentences together. Everything that uh, I think Trump has said about Kamala, as far as somebody being dumb and not knowing what they're talking about, that man told me that when I was getting in his ass about how he was being. I said, you wrong. If you if you come in, if that's, people have all, people have no religion. Like I'm not practicing the religion right now. I'm not. After he showed me what he showed me, shoot, it put extra on it. I said, hey, Christian, Christian, are you a Christian? I'm proud to be a Christian. I'm proud to be white. You be proud of whoever you are. When I mentioned I was black, it was a problem. But when he, he said he was proud to be white, it was great. Trying to use my anger and gaslight me with it. Use my speech and gaslight me with it. And I told him, no, you're not going to do it. Just because I used the F word, because I said, fuck, you are not going to do that. Because you sitting here trying to demean her demean me over a food box like something. And I said, yeah, some of this. He said, well, why are you here? I said, some of that stuff be right. It do be right. And if I said, I would do what I can do to stop people from going here. Because unless you change your attitude, you don't need nobody coming there helping you. You calling yourself helping them. But you're doing damage. Because you getting off on the fact you you on some diddy shit. You getting off on the fact that you can do something for somebody and they down and out and they gotta take and eat your shit. 
And I ain't got to take and eat your shit. I know how to plant a garden. I should be able to come there and get some food if you're going to give out some food. And God say you're supposed to do it. You wouldn't even be doing it if a God didn't say you were supposed to be doing it. Anybody can give out some food. I give out food all the time. If I had a way and a means, I would do it. It ain't got. It ain't tied. Ain't gonna be tied to a prayer. It ain't gonna be tied to nothing. The people just come and get it. Cause y'all trying to get church members and fatten up y'all church. And how that started, I know exactly how that stuff started. When the, when the folks came over there, it started up. They looked like me. That was for y'all to and in, and in, in treat everybody over there. Then when y'all got everybody over there, then y'all took y'all place and y'all was running it. Y'all are racist. And y'all using religion to get money. Like, you know, it does. Because it's, 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 it's like, why? Why call the police? Because then that's what he wanted to do. Why call the police and tell the girl to get off your property when that's a public space you're supposed to have created to give out food and these bugs in line just watching it just watching this man do this to this woman in front of her children and he was saying all kind of mean nasty things and he made it seem like he has to handle us because he got to handle us. I ain't know people's coming over and we handle it. That's how he tried to make it. That's how he tried to make it. When I was going over there for a minute, if I needed something, I would go over there. Because he said, the food is spoiled while you're here. I know all of it ain't spoiled, but some of it is because y'all, y'all trying to foist it on people. Listen, when you get the food, if some of this damage, throw it away. Give people wholesome food. You would want wholesome food at your table, wouldn't you? You 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 do. You know that. And I know people, you can just cut off the bad part or whatever. But I'm like, that's really, that's bad form, though. Because you're not going to sit down at your table. Anybody, I don't care who it is. Y'all want to foist stuff on people. Y'all eat it. Because if you wasn't being commanded to do it, if you think you wasn't being commanded to do it, you wouldn't do it no way. If you wasn't being commanded to do it, you wouldn't do it. You should do it because it's the right thing to do. Everybody, it's like like bugs living in the fantasy world. It's too real these days. Bugs walk around hating you and they telling you what, what you are. You can't you can't be friends with that. You can't you can't be on board with you, with that. I can't be like he said. Well, you can't come no more. I can't be on I, I, good because I can't be on board with you because I tried to have a conversation and the mother want to make me seem like I'm a, a wild woman and I am not. You ain't gonna put that on me. I know what she, I know what I am and I know what you are. I told that guy I was I was a human. He told I wasn't acting like him, like he was, because he didn't call me a bitch before. You a nonprofit? What you saying? I'm being a bitch because I ain't being friendly with you. What that's got to be? What's that like? That sounds like some 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 problems to me. That sounds like some narcissistic problems to me, like an injury. Because ain't nobody got to like you. I know I know God. Your God told you that. Jesus told you that they weren't going to like you. And I'm like, shoot. I thought we all was trying to atone and and, uh, and and be redeemed and be better people. That's what I was talking to you about today, B. About being a better person. You done let that shit go to your head over there. Because you can feed some people some food that normally wouldn't have none gonna ask the man in the mind that stuff well oh what would you do i was like i was like no he didn't like he gonna stop i was like y'all got to come out of that that's too much 
that slave mentality. The guy he was talking to, he wasn't he wasn't even a black a black person, but you know, because it's all kind of people that go over there. But there's a lot of black people that go over there. I'm just keeping it a real today. Well, treating them up bad, because you figure you got a little food. Y'all know I'm looking. This the I, I put this on yesterday because I, I covered my hair. I braided my hair, and um, I went in um, blue leaves in the yard, so I was trying to keep the dirt out of my hair. So I had put it on again because I normally don't do the little wraps. But I don't know. I don't know if this brought it out. It just don't make no sense. It don't make no sense at all. Whatever you're going to do in life, hell, do that shit. And you do it with authenticity because you're trying to make the world a better place. And it's, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard. You it's, it's, it's easy to get caught up in that absolute power corrupt. It is. You got to be able to do that and still be humble. And still maintain, you can maintain how you're running it. Because they was over there, they really was thinking, that they like, oh, they getting unruly. And they called, he said, I'm going to call the police. Well, the police is coming for them too. I'm like, he had already called the police. So when the police get over there, he going to say, well, these nigger women ain't acting right. Because that's about what it is. And I told him to get off my property just because I told him that he shouldn't be talking to people like that. I say you're power hungry because you got this thing over here because you're giving out some food. And it's, it's not right. And I say, I'm going to make sure I tell everybody about it. You know what this mug said? This mug going to say, yeah, I'm ranting. This is a big old rant about this heart of Saginaw, Saginaw love, whatever it is, because they acting like they, you know, they love people and stuff. I know they try to get members for their church. People have church homes that they go to. They already are churched. If people are churched or not churched, whatever the situation is. Some of them probably Muslim. Everybody, people just like, why, why everybody think that everybody got to be Christian too? That's because you was, you was born here and your mom was a Christian. Everybody ain't got to be Christian. And what does that even mean to be Christian? How he was being? What does it even mean? Christians are some of the meanest ass people I've ever damn seen in the, all the days of my life. I used to be one, so I'm, I'm just being mean. Because you're taught to be mean to people and tear people down. This lady, this lady in the mind, she was going to stand there. And she said to me, when I walked past her, she going to say, you judging. You judging him. She said it's soft. But she meant business. And she didn't even look at me in my face. She was just standing there looking away. I said, you know what? I sure did judge her. I said, this is real life. And the Bible says judge that she be judged. So yeah, he judged. He judged that woman. And he judged me. And he judged every day what he gonna do. It's just so idiotic how people be. They don't think. I said, y'all don't even read y'all on Bible and know that. So if a judgment come out, guess what? It's somebody getting judged every day. The judge there and making judgment. I just got to break that magical thinking. Yeah, everybody judge. Every day, all the time. You judge whether you want to watch this video or not. You judge whether you want to get this far into the video or not. You judge whether you want to put a like on it. You judge whether you don't want to watch now one of these videos I make ever, ever again in life. You judge when you go in the grocery store. Do that piece of meat look like it's good? Should I pay that much for that meat? Is it worth it? You judge should you fuck with somebody or not? Because he said he ain't going to fuck with me because I told him about himself and I'm banned from his little um, food giveaway thing. Okay. Okay. I've been banned from other ones too. Because they bullshit because y'all Christians get high off that power because y'all giving out that little food. Every night y'all go home and there's something on y'all table. Every night. And it ain't because you've been so good and the Lord loved you the best. It's because whatever opportunity came along at that time for you and your people and your people's people, 
That's why you are where you are. Because you ain't no brilliant motherfucker. Because if you was, you wouldn't be talking to the people you talking to. We wouldn't even know you. We wouldn't be bothered with none of this shit. Be like, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm a poverty pimp. People need help. But like I say, it's a fine line. People get all fucked up when they be doing it. Especially around here because there's so much need. But we need, like, this, like the whole thing, we need to work together more. Us, us little people, us citizens. Because it's like, all it takes is us cooperating. And we don't have to be going to food pantries. It just, it, it's called us working together to create a better life for everybody. Not just one demographic. I mean, everybody. So, that's it. I don't know. I wanted to go on more and more about that. But B was wrong. He ain't think he was wrong. He probably never will. But if you want to be treated like you ain't a person... Because he said I wasn't being a human. I'm a veteran. I'm a black woman. I'm a human. That's just the fact of the matter. When I brought that up, oh, I'm a race card. With all them damn black folks standing in line. And I'm sick of it. Race is something else. I said it was a double-edged sword. That mug got it's sharp, all, it's sharp all over that sword. Because we all divided by race. And we talk about it all the time. We can't help it. But then we don't want to talk about it. It's only good when certain people talk about it. And then it's bad when I talk about it. Or somebody else that's brown to talk about it. But it is a reality. It's a reality. Can't nobody be saying it ain't no racism. Because it is. Whatever that was. It had some racism in it. And it had a whole lot of... Uh, power dynamic sexism to it because the girl said he's been sexual and I know he called me a bitch because he said because uh, I wasn't I, I said that I wasn't playing ball but see he be over there trying to talk to women and and uh, want to have power oh this is one thing I have been wanting to talk about and I'll get into that because it's like I don't know what it is man white men love they, they love I, they love to fight me they want to fight me they want to try to make me feel less. You see, back in slavery, white men, they had all the women. Every woman they wanted. They was fucking the shit out of us. Can you imagine what they was doing when black people were slaves? They could fuck the, the man, the woman, and all the kids. And I believe, like, it's like you have, like, all these different things that's working in people's mind. And so when he said he's standing up to us, he controlling us, because it's like, hell, you can't you can't rape and fuck us no more without getting in trouble with the law. We ain't got to have you. Ain't no woman got to have no man these days. They lied all this time. It's your choice whether you want to have a man. They made it your choice. You had to have a man, because you couldn't vote, and you couldn't have a credit card. And mugs mad as hell. Don't you know we living in the most amazing time, all this stuff happening? Why we got all this shit going on, everybody mad and stuff? Because things are changing. And, and they want to see things in the past. Want to want it to maintain, you know, that status quo, that, you know, whatever. Having a problem with having a woman president. She got to be dumb and stupid. That man did the same thing. He had tried to make both of us look like we were nothing level us because we dare stand up for ourselves that's what that was all about back when when when, when, when uh, black people were slaves you know you had to revolt but you had to submit and go on see that's why that mug was mad so so you want to call the police because that's what they did police came into play when slaves were free so if you got caught you ain't have no home they throwing you in jail for laundering. They still have laundering. If you laundering somewhere, they can call the police on you and have you removed from their private property. 
And so that's what he was doing. That was a food giveaway. And he called the police. Because she said, you won't throw me out. The police going to throw me out. I was going to leave. He had no right to talk to her like that. Talk to her like she wasn't a human being. It's because he had the power to give a food box out or not. And some uh, donations that he got from Franken. Because he told me about, oh, oh so, Sister Marietta gave us this land and my son does this or whatever. What about your wife, though? That's your wife's baby anyway. You just over there doing stuff. Unless I'm wrong. In life, really. You care that much? I hope you do. I hope you reassess it and you apologize to me and that lady and anybody else that you hurt for what you've done. Because if you're supposed to be bringing the so-called love of Christ, then do that. Because it don't sound like you that's what you're doing. Because you ain't got to be all about that. If you're afraid of the people that you are serving, you don't need to do that. If you can't handle the job, you can't handle that commission that was put on you, then you don't need to do that. If you don't know how to talk to people, you don't even know how to do that because you know what it really shows, and you showed everybody today who you really were. I know what I was going. I was defending myself, and I was defending that young lady. You sitting there talking crazy stuff in front of her children and telling her she's a bad mother. And I've seen y'all, y'all talk about people. Y'all, y'all want to gatekeep everything? That's y'all stuff? Go ahead. I don't want no more of y'all stuff. Y'all can have all that shit y'all got over there. And I advise, if you want to be treated like that, you can go over there. But if you don't want to be treated like that, don't support it. Because I ain't going to support it. I'm like, so you think you're going to buy my dignity with a rotten box of food? <laughs>